Pretty much everyone knows what the first Pixar film is, right? Toy Story, a classic, that I'll admit is very personal to me. It was the first VHS ever given to me. Uh, okay, for younger viewers, that probably sounds alien. Uh, see, VHS were cassette tapes that had movies and... Okay, you know what? I can't waste too much time there. Point is, I had the movie and played the hell out of it, okay? Uh, 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 please be careful. But what came before that? Well, a few shorts, obviously, but film-wise, clearly there's some kind of precursor to Pixar, right? I mean, what's often known as the oldest Pixar short wasn't even made by Pixar. It just had involvement from a certain Pixar director. Well, anyway, what was Pixar before Pixar on movies? Ever heard of the Brave Little Toaster? And you'll go! Did you hear that, boys? They want to know how to escape! Everything you want is that We did good, didn't we? Yep. From 1987 came the adaptation of the 1980 novel of the same name, The Brave Little Toaster. A movie about a group of inanimate objects including a toaster, an electric blanket, a vacuum, a lamp, and a radio who go across the country to reunite with their former owner before he goes off to college. Sound familiar? By the way, I will be spoiling the film, so if you haven't seen it, I advise doing so if that stuff bothers you. Anyway, along the way, the objects encounter a shop owner who dissects objects and creates weird versions of them, who gets his comeuppance when the objects decide to attack him. They also encounter newer objects that mess with them, dangers in the wild, and eventually, our heroes find themselves in a junkyard where they nearly die. Sound familiar? Okay, look, I'm not saying Toy Story ripped off the Brave Little Toaster. I'm just acknowledging the similarities are there, and for a reason. At least two major creative people from Pixar were involved. The late Joe Raft, who often contributed to storyboards and the storytelling of the early Pixar films, before tragically being killed in a car accident, and the director of Toy Story and Cars. Oh, come off it. Be serious. I am serious. Okay, fine, I suppose I should talk about this now. John Lasseter. Look, I like John's films. For the longest time, I considered him an inspirational figure, but as we've all likely heard by now, the man is awful. No amount of great work can erase his legacy of harassing women. While I won't remove the credit he has to his name, I won't pretend that separating the artist from the art has to be done here. If his actions upset and bother you, I understand. You won't hear me ignore it, just because I'll be praising things he's involved with here. That being said, let's get back to the video. Why, if only we were all wiener dogs, our problems would be solved. It's not surprising after hearing those connections that this would have similarities, but one has to wonder if anyone involved thought much of that. In many ways, it's with those connections that adds an interesting element to the Brave Little Toaster. We can trace story concepts and ideas from Pixar films that they toyed with before doing those movies. Remember, no one gets to their high status right away. The Simpsons originated as shorts on the Tracy Ullman show, which most people recognize less and less as the years go by, while even Family Guy can find its roots in a Cartoon Network short. Wow, a dog that speaks English! What? You know, and I once had a Jack Russell Terrier that spoke Dutch, but I, I couldn't understand a word he was saying. Listen to me. If, if you don't get me out of here, I will be put to sleep. Do you, are you listening? Do you understand me? You will be indirectly responsible for the resulting euthanasia. Oh boy, they got enough kids over there as it is. In those ways, I like to think of the Brave Little Sorcerer as an honorary part of the canon. Pixar movie number zero, if you will. I'm sure at this point you're wondering whether it's worth checking out or not. Well, I can assure you that the Brave Little Sorcerer is a pretty good movie. The animation isn't too great, but it's cute and provides some nice nightmare feel for kids. Run. And the characters are fun. Not as lovable as the Toy Story gang, but then how many animated characters are? As a musical, it's okay, nothing incredibly memorable, with the best songs being It's a B-Movie and Worthless, though mostly for the visuals that go along with them. Overall, it's cute and definitely worth watching even without knowledge of its Pixar relation. Most people around my age likely remember seeing it on the Disney Channel, where it would play quite a bit throughout the 90s. Disney even produced a couple of straight-to-video sequels, but I never saw them, and from what I've heard, that's a good thing. All in all, yeah, The Brave Little Toaster is a fun, cute little movie that can be viewed as a piece of Pixar's history. And in that regard, I hope this video convinces some who haven't seen it to discover it for themselves. See you later!